afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, sorry it's been a day or two. Uh, Saturday, no way I could do a video today. I had rain and everything else. So I finally get to shoot one. Uh, today, we're going to review one I'm actually really excited about. It's a really cool, y'all know I like retro motorhomes. Well, this isn't really a retro motorhome, but it is the new version of a retro motorhome. This is a 2016 Monaco Trek, model number 26HM, little small class A. Uh, it's supposed to be the modern version of the Safari Trek that was an incredibly nice little motorhome built uh, in the 90s all the way up to like 2001 or 2002. And this is just a modern version of it. Kind of like a retro throwback, I guess, uh, edition. And guys, this unit's only 27 feet, 10 inches long. It's only got 14,000 and 600 some odd miles on it. Beautiful condition inside and out. They did a real good job with this one. And it may not have everything the old Safari Treks had. You know, it doesn't have that, that custom painted mural on the back like they used to have, but you know, this thing's smaller than most Class C's on the market. And uh, it's just got an awesome color scheme. Kind of on a slope right here. I'm sorry about that, but and I love that blue. It really pops on the side of this thing. Got a 4 kW generator running right now, powering everything up inside of Onan. Uh, 120, 30 hours on it. Ford chassis. Got the 6.8 V10. 362 horsepower. 420, or 457 pound-feet of torque. Way more power than the old Trex ever imagined having. Um, 5,000 pound tow capacity on the hitch. It's got the leveling jacks, fiberglass exterior, and I'm trying to find something to pick on this one, guys, as far as like a defect or a scratch. I'm not having any luck. Maybe y'all can see something in the video that I'm missing in person, but you've got the frameless windows. It's got one slide, power awning. It's a good looking little motor. Home. To me, now this is my honest opinion, I would take this over a Thor Ace or a Forest River FR3 any day. I mean, just a nice, nice little motor home. Generator's quiet, smooth running right now, powering everything up inside. Runs great. We just drove it 500 miles, hit the road right. Allied Recreational who builds this who owns monaco and fleetwood well actually they did and then they sold the rev, rev it's it's all the same thing um but this was a good good design and a good job by allied for making this tribute to an incredible motorhome from I have a lot of fond memories of, and I've done many video reviews on over the decades that I've been doing this. Power steps work great. Let's look inside. And I'm gonna say this isn't exactly like the old tricks, but really cool setup in here. You've got, of course, your front cab. And the original tricks had what they called a magic bed which was a huge bed that sat up here right behind the driver's and passenger seat. And this was a queen bed that lowered down from the roof. And then it sat above your sofa and your table booth back then. Of course, this one's actually got a bedroom in the back, but it's still, they put a nice tribute to that old magic bed. Cause that magic bed was one of the um, main things that the old Safari treks were known for. And uh, this one's, of course, got a table booth that makes a bed, books, manual, service records, what few there are with 14,000 miles are in it. Uh, only thing I, I've noted in there was they did put rear front and rear stabilizer bars on this. That's probably why it drove so good for my drivers. You've got a large recliner, leather seats, no flaking furniture problem here. This is a higher grade seats, and they both swivel for party seating, 14,000 miles. 
uh like i said dash here is cool got the hydraulic leveling jacks backup camera built-in nav you've got heated power mirrors tilt crews all your everything you need up here big one-piece windshield great visibility no smoke or pet odors and i got the motor off right now because this guy does have well it's not a magic bed it does have a bed that lowers down over the cab 128.8 hours on the generator does have the six gallon dsi water heater slide out controls everything's right here including your power bed controls tv's right there too by the way this lowers down and you've got a ladder in the back you can use on it if you want to now it is missing the mattress somebody probably used this for storage so you may have to get you an air mattress or something for it but you got your safety netting which you just reattach it to the side every time you bring it up or down if you need to and that is almost a, almost it's it's a full-size bed let's just call it that forgot to mention guys the price is seventy four thousand nine hundred dollars i'm gonna pause the video for a second and pop the nada up i am 18 grand over eighteen thousand dollars under what nada says i should be selling it for and only adjusting for the miles so hang on real quick i'll flash that You can see I got an incredible deal on this, but that's why y'all watch my channel, guys. That's why you subscribe. And by the way, smash that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. I mean, motorhomes are going crazy right now. I know everybody's saying with gas prices or, and all that, but we sold 22 units last week, and I would say 15 of them were Class A motorhomes. People are still buying. Of course, you know, we, people see our prices, and they see, you know, you go online and you look pretty much anything I have up. I'm constantly 5, 10, 15, 20 grand less than any other one in the country, the same year make and model uh, with my prices. You can see why people travel to save money to buy from us, even with gas prices. Um, I think that has a lot to do with it. People are paying a lot more attention to what they're paying for it. I'll go ahead and crank that motor up now. 16 or 14,642 miles no check engine lights but i think that has a lot to do with people pinching their pennies now and going for the lower priced ones even if they have to travel a little bit because you can fly out here for a few hundred bucks from pretty much anywhere in the country and we'll pick you up at the chattanooga tennessee airport during business hours and you can buy a deal like this and save 20 grand um but we're going to step toward the back solid surface countertops three burner cooktop like the rest of it this thing doesn't hardly look like it's been used microwave you know nice solid hardwood cabinets that's about a uh, close to seven foot tall interior ceiling height it does have a 15,000 btu coleman uh mock ac six gallon or excuse me six gallon uh six cubic foot rv refrigerator freezer that i like i said that this whole thing is just so nice especially for a 16 model i just only way you're gonna get one any nicer than this buy brand new and you're gonna spend about twice that that's pretty cool got some neat cabinets and stuff in here Um, oh, I always like to look at the cutlery drawer on these newer ones. Look right here. Doesn't fold straight out. Folds down. So like I said, they try to maximize space in this coach everywhere they can. Before we get in the bathroom, let's look at the bedroom. What's missing? Remember what I was saying about the magic bed that come down from the wall? Ta-da! <laughs> Got a queen bed real similar to what the old magic beds were except they were in the living room and unlike the original treks this one's actually got a stationary rear uh, bedroom instead of sleeping in a living room every day 
every night. And what's cool about this is if you need an office, but you don't want to buy a big motor home, if you need a work at home office, get up out of bed in the morning, raise your bed up with the push of a button, there's your office. What's cool is you've got a big closet that comes up with the bed. So, uh, and you still got your mini closets, but you open this up, you've got a big deep closet. This is something you don't get in a under 28 foot class A. You just do not get this. But with this floor plan, you do. And um, I've got it, I've got the safety strap in. So what you have to do to lower this down, you've got a seat belt style safety strap right here. You just pop that button right here is your switch just like the bed over the uh over the cab push the button and of course that closet goes away with it. it's the only thing that sucks about it but you want to make sure that closet door is shut good before bringing this down but you bring this down it sits down on the counter so you got plenty of support on those cabinets and drawers that were down there it's about like the old magic bed. It took about just this long, too. Just like that, you got your bed. You still got your mini closets, too, on each side, or one side, anyway. And then you got a little hut, a little uh, hidden cutty storage right there. Pretty cool, isn't it? That, that was a definitely an unexpected tribute to... Uh, the original safari treks so are their magic bed of course you got a solid sliding door here to separate the bedroom off and tv up there for the for the uh bed or office you know i know a lot of people are traveling and full timing in their rvs and working from home this is a great way to have your office if you didn't want to use your table booth or use it just to get ready i mean that'd be a great room just to change clothes get ready do whatever you need to do and it's a convertible room, just a bedroom or, or for whatever, or any other kind of room you want it to be that you can fit in the confines of it. Hobby room, a craft room, a office. You can do a lot of things with that. Uh, you've got a split bathroom because of the size. You do have a porcelain RV toilet. You do have medicine cabinet. It does have the padded headliner too, so which means if it ever had a leak, you'd see some sagging in the headliner, which this doesn't. And of course, you're, you open this door up right here. This makes a privacy barrier. And glass door shower, skylight. Pretty cool. And um, what do y'all think in the comments? Even if, if you're not looking for this type of RV or not interested in this RV, if you go back to my videos and look at some of the old treks I've shot, compare those to this, it's pretty neat to me. Um, you know, of course, it's still not a new um, a new Brave. You know, the new retro style Braves they came out with about 15 and 16 that Winnebago did. I can't wait to shoot one of those, but but this was per this is pretty close and um i don't know about those orange curtains but more power to you i guess and you do have a power shade in the windshield uh, that you can lower down from a button on the dash dash air is good and cold roof air is good and cold big boy recliner right here yeah this is neat guys it really is saw the value of it you saw what i'm asking for at 74.9 even at that low price i still guarantee the slide out to work guarantee the generator to run and put out like it's supposed to guarantee the fridge and freezer to get cold guarantee the roof air to work at that price is how i keep my prices down lower than anybody else's i just check the major stuff i don't think you're going to have any issues with this you saw both beds work I mean, you need to put an air mattress or, or a piece of air mattress in that overhead bed, but who cares? That's that's Mickey Mouse stuff. 74.9 Haggle Free Firm will trade. And like I said, we guarantee those major things to work. Anything else, it's up to you to inspect it. Or if you're not sure, you're welcome to pay it, hire a third party 
inspector and have them check it out. Not many dealers are going to say that. Because I want you to know what you're getting into before you get into it. Because we don't know. All we do is we check those major systems. If they work, it's good to go. Steps do, and the steps work. So as far as what we check and what we guarantee, it's ready to go, guys. You can come pay for it the same day and take it home the same day. Um, man, I love this little motorhome. This is so cool. It's a great way to start a Monday, isn't it? Like I said, I know it may not be for everybody, but I like it. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. And again, smash the thumbs up, comment, share on social media, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that subscription button. Hit that bell notification button. It's 100% no cost to you. It's free. You get, uh, uh, if you hit that bell notification button, you'll get a notification every time I post a video. And you actually pretty cool. Even though there's 32,000 subscribers on there that also get the same notification, most of them. Um, it still gives you a chance to preview because what happens is I do the video, I, I put it on my website and I put it on YouTube and from there it goes into a feed. It takes it about 24 hours before it goes on like RV USA, RV Trader, RVT, eBay, Facebook, places like that. So I uh, wish a whole lot more people see it on those other sources combined than they do on YouTube and the website. So this kind of gives you a chance to say, hey, I really like this video. Let me call and leave a deposit and hold it because, I mean, this is the first one of these I've gotten to shoot that these new safaris and I really like it, guys. I hope we get some more of these in. Uh, they didn't make many of these, so I doubt it, but you never know. I say that I have three of them come in tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> around this place <laughs> um but that's probably gonna be the only video i do today because like i said the weather's just been horrible rain pouring rain and, and all that stuff so and again i apologize about saturday i usually try to do at least one video on a saturday but i don't i just amazing the number of people that come out on a pretty saturday especially this time of year so you know, I do recommend if you do come out and you want to look, see my inventory, or if you want to look at something specific, come during the week if possible. Monday through Friday, we're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We are open Saturday, but it's more a looker's day than anything. And you have to realize my salespeople, I've got five salespeople, and they're all juggling four or five customers at the same time. So because of that, we don't allow test drives on Saturday. And be honest with you, you're probably only gonna to get to talk to a salesperson for a few minutes, if even that time at all, because they're stretched like a piece of taffy. And uh, so that's why I always tell people, if you're serious, come out during the week. If you just wanna browse, kick tires, ask a few questions, then come out on Saturday by all means and just look around. Everything's priced, everything's marked, everything's open. You can look without a salesperson escorting you around. You can. Um, you don't have to go through a sales office. I mean, while it may be polite, just kind of poke your head in the in the showroom, just kind of check in, say, hey, I'm going to be out here looking at RVs, and, and I'm in this vehicle right here. We really appreciate it when customers do that. That's just, I guess, politeness. But, you know, again, you don't have to. Um, and, of course, then, then you can say, hey, do I want a salesperson? Do I want, or, or can I just look? You know, too, we like to know that. Well, you know, a lot of times, guys, we get people that complain, oh, I was there for two hours on a Saturday and not a single salesperson talked to me. Did you ask for one? Did you go in the showroom and ask for one? No, we, we're very hands-off here, guys. We want you to come to us, not vice versa. If you want to go to Rip Off World where they pounce on you as soon as you get out of your vehicle, half a dozen of them pounce on you, then by all means, that's what you want, then go there. If you just want to come simply look without being bothered without being pressured without talking to a salesperson and if you do see something you like you can go in the showroom one of them will help you you're more than welcome to do that anytime six days a week um but that's the way we are guys and that's a forward concept to a lot of people because people complain about it. i get a call at least once a week i was there for x and so so and nobody you have to go and ask for help now if one of my salespeople that doesn't have somebody and they see you walking around 
they might politely ask if you need help and if you don't they'll say well just make yourself at home and look around and I'll just come inside if you need anything but uh, you know when it's so busy as we are on Saturday that's not always possible to speak to everybody out here sometimes you have to speak up instead of wait to be spoken to um, but then again that goes back to what I was saying try to come during the week if possible it's still busy at times but nothing like Saturday um, but guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate it and keep in mind this 74.9 is haggle free firm but we charge no fees besides applicable sales tax and what the state makes us collect now as far as what we have to collect if you are a Georgia resident and Georgia residents only doesn't apply to anybody and from any of the other 49 states we do have to charge a $100 highway impact fee a $40 to $50 tag and title fee that's it if you've got questions about the unit or the pricing or you want to buy it or what we cover as far as what we inspect um, like I said we just cover the slide outs slide out in this one generator roof air refrigerator freezer and steps and of course for it to drive down the road like it's supposed to but everything else is sold 100 as is if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't if you need clarification on that just call one of my salespeople and they'll try to explain it to you a little better than i can um that's how we keep the prices down you know if you want to pay a full retail price a 92 7 70 whatever the nada was with no options i'll be ha we'll be happy to do a full retail inspection but that's a lot more money than 74 9 and um like i said guys go online go to rv trader look what these things are bringing uh we got the best one out there and definitely one of the lowest mileage one too this thing has not been lived in it's as nice as they come let me put it to you this way the only way you're going to get one nicer than this the 16 model is to go buy a brand new one for almost double the money thank you so much for watching i appreciate it guys appreciate my 32,000 subscribers uh hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're on facebook like my facebook page rb's a big bow um you can actually message me through there i don't you know i don't uh take phone calls i don't sell i do the marketing but i'm more than happy to try to give you advice or answer questions stuff like that you know short of anything short of discussing price selling trade you know stuff like that you'd have to talk to a salesperson about best way to get in touch with one of them if you can't stop by is call 706-965-7929 thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia